Hi, my name is Jeremy Sampson and I'm the Managing Director at Robert Walters Japan. I'm pleased to launch our Digital Salary Survey for 2022. Robert Walters was the first recruitment company to produce a comprehensive overview of salaries and recruitment trends and they've become a trusted source of information for both companies and professionals. In addition to salary ranges, other features in the digital platform include a video update on market conditions and insightful infographics from our questionnaire results. In this video, I'll share general trends we've observed in the Japan job market before covering trends in the disciplines and functions we recruit for. The second half will cover insights into employee and company trends, such as salary and bonus expectations, and what professionals really value most in 2022. In 2021, we witnessed recovery in most industries and sectors, especially from the second half of the year. Compared to 2020, there was a huge influx of roles, especially as the vaccine rollout helped to boost market confidence. And in some industries and disciplines, the volume of new roles exceeded pre-pandemic levels. Work flexibility is still a top priority for professionals, and more companies are adopting to a hybrid work system to allow employees to work both from home and in the office. Before moving to trends in each discipline, here are some general trends we observed in 2021 through our surveys. Almost half of businesses say they are very likely to give pay rises to employees, while 96% are planning to give pay rises to mid to senior professionals. 48% of professionals are confident about job opportunities in their sectors, and 60% are planning to look for a new job in 2022. We can expect even greater demand for accounting and finance professionals in areas such as IT, e-commerce, healthcare, and retail FMCG companies due to pent up demand. As the focus shifts more towards FP&A and strategic planning, this will result in a growing need for bilingual finance professionals with hands-on experience in management accounting, strategy, and planning. Within financial services, consulting and M&A advisory firms will most likely continue to expand, resulting in strong demand to fill regulation-related functions. With Japan's financial services agency stepping up to attract more financial services businesses to Japan, it's likely that we may see an influx of new companies. As many companies have restarted their hiring activities from last year, we're seeing huge demand for talent acquisition professionals across all industries. With the ongoing talent shortage, we're also seeing more willingness to hire individuals based on potential rather than exclusively focusing on direct working experience, particularly in junior HR roles. In general, significant salary increases are not likely, but for popular industries such as IT and pharma, competitive salaries will be offered to attract potential hires. Within legal compliance and risk, hiring has been stable with increased activity in the healthcare and IT sectors for legal roles and anti-money laundering on the compliance side. We don't expect any significant changes in base salary, but bonuses will likely go up as businesses recover. Within manufacturing, although one of the hardest hit areas during 2020, we've seen strong recovery across all sectors. We can expect there to be continued demand for project developers project managers and bilingual engineers in the renewable field due to the growing demand for green energy. Companies are also hiring more candidates with experience in e-mobility, EV and the autonomous space. With the ongoing chip shortage, professionals with technical experience in the semiconductor market, both for sales and R&D, will continue to be highly sought after. Many retail companies that had to downsize during the downturn of 2020 are now actively hiring back the roles that were put on hold. As pharma companies continue to outsource R&D functions, there'll be an increase in hiring in the service provider side, such as clinical monitoring, PV, and regulatory affairs. Within sales and marketing roles, the most in-demand skills for 2022 will be data analytics for strategic application and consumer insights driven strategy. Within supply chain, professionals with a combination of traditional skill sets, 
such as demand forecasting and experience in one or more areas, such as project management, data analysis, systems, IT, or finance, will be the most sought after in 2022. While there likely be no major changes in salary levels from pre-COVID, high demand professionals could possibly expect 10 to 15% increases upon changing jobs. Within technology, the competition for developers of all types is extremely tight as companies are launching new products and services online. Data scientists, data engineers, IT risk and security candidates are the most sought after and will continue to see that well into 2022. Compensation packages will continue to rise, driven by the scarcity of skilled talent and the need to protect against counteroffers. Closed borders have made it extremely difficult to bring talent from abroad, making the talent shortage in tech even more severe. When we look at trends among professionals, of the 855 employees in Japan surveyed, Almost one third are currently working and looking for a job change. Furthermore, 60% of employees would like to change jobs within 12 months. That being said, candidates were still cautious about changing jobs in 2021, but it's likely we'll see more candidate confidence in 2022. In the past year, we've seen a dramatic rise in the cases of counteroffers as companies struggle to retain talent. According to our survey among employees, 88% of professionals said they've never accepted a counteroffer. The top three reasons for not accepting a counteroffer include the reasons for leaving weren't resolved, that already committed to the decision to leave, or there was no guarantee of future job satisfaction. And among professionals that did accept a counteroffer, data showed almost half of them left the company within one year. And although the results indicated that the majority of professionals declined counteroffers, employers will still need to be cautious as companies will continue to offer more competitive counteroffers for employees to hold on to top talent. In our survey, we asked both professionals and employers about expected salary increases in 2022. From the candidate side, the most common answer was an expectation of a 1-5% to salary increase indicating that most professionals have a realistic expectation of minimal salary increases. On the other hand, 67% of employers answered that they are likely to give salary increases of 1-5%, to which is aligned with the expectations of candidates. In terms of expectations for bonuses, 70% of companies answered that they are likely to give a bonus to employees in 2022. On the candidate side, over half of employees are expecting to receive a bonus. Across all seniority levels, most employers plan to give a bonus of 6-10% of the total base salary. And in comparison, almost 40% of employees expect a bonus of 21% or higher. These results indicate there's a mismatch between the expectations of candidates regarding bonuses and the reality of the employer's situation. We also asked professionals in Japan what they prioritise in an employer in 2022. And the top five values are challenging and interesting work, colleagues and a culture that inspire employees to do their best, which was ranked first in 2021, flexible work arrangements, which remains in the top three, and a convenient commute. As more companies transition to hybrid work, convenient commutes makes a comeback as a priority. And finally, autonomy over tasks and priorities. When we surveyed companies in Japan, 93% of employers expressed concern about talent shortages, with 48% saying they're very concerned. The shortage of talent is most severe for senior and managerial roles. According to employers, the top three challenges to hiring talent were a lack of industry experience, lack of technical qualifications, and a lack of applications or supply of candidates. As companies are bouncing back from the pandemic-induced downturn and resuming hiring activities, the competition for talent in 2022 across most industries will intensify. With the chronic labour shortage, as well as continued border closures due to COVID, employers really need to step up their hiring strategies to secure talent. Companies can no longer rely on compensation and benefits and brand name alone to attract candidates. 
there needs to be more emphasis on employee value propositions. And this can be done by sharing what's unique about your company and the long-term business vision more explicitly with potential hires. In a candidate-driven market, it's critical to be decisive and expedite the interview process or risk losing out on good people. And lastly, to find the best people in a talent short market, consider working with a trusted recruitment partner. Thanks very much for listening. And of course, if you'd like any further information, please feel free to reach out to us directly.